Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Wanted to start off the vlog. I had all intention of starting off the vlog earlier today, but I was running some errands today because tomorrow I will not be having my car probably for a majority of the day. So I was out and about. I got my nails taken off. Back to my no nail club. I mean, it's just, it's a lot to keep up with pedicures I obviously don't have to go every two weeks because I can kind of stretch them a little bit farther but nails it's every two weeks this has kind of been an expensive weekend for me and honestly I mean Italy and stuff and it's just not a part if I'm being honest it's just not in the budget right now to be going to get my nails done all the time it's like the easiest way to save money and it really does add up so it's just not it's just not something that I want to pay for right now. I just got new tires on my car yesterday and I've had my car for almost four years. So this is the first time in four years that I've had to replace my tires. I haven't really put much mileage on my car. It's kind of shocking. I mean, my job is really close. The grocery store is close and that's basically where I go. So I've literally only put just 20,000 miles on my car in four years. So that's pretty good. Tomorrow I'm going to get service on my car. It's that time of year where I go get service done. But I've been really lucky because the past three years I've actually had my car. I haven't had to pay for any service. I don't know if when I bought the car there was some deal that I signed up for or something but I got three free years of service so this is like the first service I'm actually paying for in the since I've had my car so I've been very very lucky with stuff like that and I don't take that for granted but tomorrow I am paying for the service so it's just been an expensive weekend with car related stuff which is not fun but I am very grateful that I haven't even had to pay for any of that stuff so far in four years so really lucky with that um got my nails taken off i did get a pedicure though that was a fun errand i went to the ups store i took clothes to plato's closet clean up my closet um went to the bank went to the grocery store for just a couple quick things because i'm making chili tomorrow i am doing a big batch of chili two crock pots full i do this like every couple of months and it's the first chili of fall so i'm gonna do that in the morning and then Christian's gonna take me to get drop my car off my service appointments at 1 maybe we'll like quickly go to the grocery store or I'll take his car to the grocery store tomorrow so I can at least go and do that and yeah I'm going to dinner tonight with my two friends Taylor and Taylor which will be a lot of fun we're going to get sushi on Park Ave and I've never tried this restaurant before so I'm very excited I also realized and it's such a bummer I realized that I've been vlogging on the wrong settings on this camera. This is like my new camera that I purchased last year because I have had a camera since I started YouTube and it's like slowly started to fall apart, it has a crack in the screen and I thought that the screen was gonna like fail me one day. So I just ended up going and buying a camera and I bought this and I never really vlog on this camera and I started vlogging on it on my trip to Italy and I was like switching back and forth between photo and video on this camera because I was like taking pictures and like vlogging and I thought that was the main reason why some of my vlog footage from Italy wasn't like super crisp or like top tier <laughs> videos like usual. I feel like my vlogs, I... I feel like my vlogs have always had really good um, quality so I thought it was just me like switching back and forth and me accidentally videoing on the picture setting on my camera because I was like really switching back and forth a lot so I thought I just like accidentally forgot to switch it back to for some vlog clips and like that was like the trouble with vlogging and taking photos on this camera because I would honestly forget to switch it and I thought that was the main reason but I just uploaded my vlog my first vlog back from being in the country and being back into a routine and literally I vlogged last weekend and the weekend before I vlogged twice and I was editing the video this week and I was like why is the quality so terrible and I was like messing around with the camera settings and I realized that I've been vlogging on literally not great settings so I messed around with it and am now vlogging on 
some different settings to try and get my quality back to where it was but I, I hope the quality is is good right now but yeah so that was a little bit of a bummer but anyways hopefully everything's fixed and good to go now but just wanted to start off the vlog it's five o'clock i'm going to meet my friends at seven so had like a full day didn't really vlog i've just been kind of feeling like weird the past couple of weeks like life is moving really fast and i feel like really rushed through everything so i'm really trying to like slow down but I feel like overstimulated just like every single day and it's just weighing on me and it's not good so yeah i'm trying to like chill and take it easy but like today i was like kind of feeling a little bit overstimulated so i've just been like feeling this way since i got back and work's been just anyways i'm gonna go inside and figure out an outfit for dinner and then head to go get some sushi i'm so excited okay i just got upstairs and opened an amazon package i ordered more tupperware i had a lot of tupperware that just was all different sizes and i kind of wanted something all the same size and new and also glass i was using the same container every morning for my breakfast to take to work so i just needed another option too so this set off amazon comes with five of each size five of this size with a lid and then five of this smaller size so i thought this would be perfect for breakfast and then since i'm prepping two large crock pots full of chili and i'm gonna freeze half of it i thought this would be perfect to use to store the frozen chili in the freezer and then just to kind of upgrade our meal prep containers it was time so i can link this set down below it also comes in other colors than the the white but it has great reviews and i really like the size difference and i can link it and then i also got this sweater i got it in a couple colors hold on i got this sweater this is a navy blue i also got it in black and red i swapped out I tried two of their tan colors and the tan colors came off pinky, which I didn't love the color of them. So I ordered it in a size medium and people in the reviews were saying that this is such a Jenny Kane dupe sweater and those sweaters go for like $300 and this was like $38 on Amazon and it comes in so many different colors. I sized up to a medium because it does shrink in the wash. So I'm glad that I got a medium size instead of my normal size. So this is what the medium looks like on. And I would say it kind of, it does shrink a little, but it's like perfect for, you could wear it buttoned up with just like a tank top underneath it and some leggings. You can dress it up with jeans, wear it open. I have been wearing my black one to work. This is perfect for an office environment as it starts to get colder outside. So I can link this down below. I don't know how much of a Jenny Kane dupe it actually is because I don't own a sweater, but people in the reviews were saying that it is. So I'll link it. I got it in three colors and I'm so excited to wear this all fall and winter long. Okay, it's the next day. It's around 11 o'clock. Just cleaned up from breakfast and now I'm about to start prepping chili and I'm so excited. This is the first chili of the fall season and I'm so excited to have it. So what I do is I usually cook two crock pots full of it and I freeze one whole crock pot 
it thaws really well it's so easy to have in the freezer whenever you want to switch up a dinner of some sort you just pull it out the night before and put it in the fridge and it's good to go the best easiest thing to always have on hand and it lasts four months in the freezer so that's why i always prep it it's a nice little switch up and since i'm already cooking a full crock pot might as well just cook a secondary one i'm gonna start prepping everything this is the fourth i think fall season of me cooking this chili recipe i'll link it down below i've linked it in the past i am doing ground turkey instead of ground beef and i'm actually adding red pepper this time i have to go drop my car off to get serviced at one o'clock and it's a little bit after 11. Anyways, this cooks for probably about five and a half to six hours, so we'll be in the crock pot all day, but it makes the kitchen smell amazing. So I'm gonna start prepping everything, cutting up the onions, the peppers, things like that. Okay, I just got home from picking my car up from getting serviced. Everything's good to go. Nothing's broken, nothing extra needed to be fixed, nothing, which is good. Um, it's so funny, I literally got my service done like 7,000 miles ago. I barely drive and it's so funny that like my job is like literally three or four miles from my apartment and like the grocery store is a mile away maybe less so i really don't drive really far it's just kind of funny that they were like oh you were here like seven thousand miles ago and i was like yeah i've had the car for almost four years and i just hit like putting twenty thousand miles on it so anyways i just think it's funny but that's all done for at least a year thank goodness i do need to get a new battery probably in the next six months they said but i'm gonna like hold off for probably like three or four months before I go and get a new one. Christian went to the grocery store for me this morning, thank goodness, but I forgot to put some things on my list, like my lunches for tomorrow and for the week and milk and things. I didn't want to meal prep this week. Christian actually goes out of town on a work trip. Just decided not to meal prep. I just prepped a bunch of chili, which it's almost done in the crock pot today. I didn't want to add anything extra to my list and I am filming a work week in my life this next week and um, I'm working with a brand coming up and I have a lot of videos that I'm like filming right now like I have like a video that's gonna go up and then I have this one and then I have the work week and then I need to film a Q&A and I didn't have time this weekend I'm probably gonna have to do it next weekend and there's like a time schedule with working with them so I don't know if the work week of my life is coming after this video or after the video where I'm working with them but stay tuned I'm doing a work week of my life I don't really know how well these work week of my life are gonna be going now um, a lot of people are in the office and I just can't vlog in the office really so i'm gonna try my best to vlog it's just hard and i'm literally stuck at my computer all day long it just kind of sucks i wish i did work from home or have like some hybrid style job because i'm so envious of people that have so much flexibility with their work schedule and i don't have any honestly before covid it was like completely normal for everyone to be in the office it was very rare that people worked from home 
but it's just i'm like so jealous i feel like people have all this time and i don't have time like that like i'm working i don't understand how people have who have work from home jobs like literally have all the flexibility that they do at the same time because my workload literally takes the whole entire day sometimes it's a little bit slower but there's like always things that can be done so i'm just like really envious of these people's jobs where they have all this flexibility it's crazy and i wish i could throw laundry in and do laundry while i'm working and even just like one work from home day a wednesday or a monday or a friday it would really just make the world of a difference i don't really have that option so that's my little rant of just how i'm feeling like i've been trying to petition for like a work from home day at my job for a couple of months and i just don't ever see it happening sorry my camera just unstuck from the dash but what i was saying is i've never had the luxury of working from home so i don't really even know what it's like but it seems pretty great to just like have one day Okay, just packaged up all of the rest of the chili and getting so many additional meals out of it. So we had dinner tonight, and then we're gonna have dinner tomorrow. So I put it in here and then I ran out of my new Tupperware. It only comes with five of the big size. So I just pulled one that I already had out, but it's giving us six additional dinners by doubling the recipe really great thing to meal prep and keep in your freezer like i mentioned before it thaws really great and still tastes just as good so i'm gonna put this in the freezer and then i'm gonna get in the shower and finish up some laundry but just wanted to show how many additional meals it gets you just by doubling the recipe I'm about to get in the shower, but there is truly nothing better than fresh bed sheets on a Sunday before starting the work week. I am so excited to get into bed. Okay, I just put away all of my laundry and I'm about to get in the shower and get into bed. I gotta be up a little bit earlier tomorrow and hopefully get a good night's rest because I am filming a work week of my life tomorrow. So. We'll see how that goes, but I wanted to go ahead and end off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend of my life. Hopefully next weekend is not so chaotic and all over the place and busy. I feel like ever since I got back into the country and from traveling, I've just been go, go, go nonstop every single day. Work, weekend, doesn't matter. It's been so busy, so crazy. Hopefully next weekend is a little bit more chill. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.